spare parts for the Aqualand. Today I wanted to tell you about the two more common problems that you might face when uh, you buy a, an Aqualand and then it's not working. Let me tell you about it in a few minutes. Um, sometimes these plates are, for some reason, you know, the, the little connector here. Um, it's not a cable, it's not a wire. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit down there. And these little pads down there, copper pads down there are cut. Okay, so there's no connection between, you know, two different points down here. And in, in that case, we need to either solder or put little, I think this is nitrate, silver nitrate. So this plate is not working either. And I have quite a few actually. Let me see here. For sure, this one is in pretty good condition, but I don't know why it's not working. Hmm. A viewer of the channel asked me that, well, he told me about his watch. So it was functioning, it was working perfectly, except that one of the pushers here wasn't working. Okay, so when, oops, the battery popped out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. When uh, sort of they pressed the button here, nothing happened with the digital part. Well, let me tell you, one of the more common problems in that case is that these little copper plates down here, let me zoom in so you see clearly. See this, uh, these um, areas down here, one, there's two here, three areas, right? Three areas corresponding to the buttons, right? So we have three buttons, one, two, and three buttons. Usually these little edges are, um, you know, the copper or the zinc. I think this is a, a zinc layer down here, fades away. Okay, so you no longer have, you know, the, um, the contact. It's not performing well there because it's missing the layer, okay, the top layer of copper there, or whatever, zinc, nickel, whatever. This edge down there was um, absolutely rusty, and there was nothing on top of it. It was like an empty surface down here. So I cleaned the area thoroughly, and then what I did was, with my little solder machine, I added a little solder down here. This is lead solder, you know, the usual thing you find pretty much everywhere. And this is the end result. Gotta be careful though. Moreover, in this particular example down here, um, this is the battery area, one of, you know, the bottom batteries of this watch. So let me show you down here. I'm talking about this battery down there. This battery is in contact with a little plate down here, right? So the bottom battery goes here on, in this area. The top one should get in contact with this little copper and uh, rectangle down here. And the third battery, you know, the, the one on the side is the one that controls actually, okay, the death meter. Actually, so, that one was missing down here, okay? This little area was missing down below. And what I did actually, look, in this case, it, the solution was a little crude and it was a little ugly, if, if you will. But hey, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. So I basically peeled off this area and I attached a cable, a little wire down here from side to side. This plate is in working order. So that's how you fix this problem in this particular case. Um, like I said, in the case of these three plates, these circuits actually, I don't know what happened here. I need to investigate. This one for sure had a water intrusion problem. So now it's rusty 
and I I think we will need to replace actually the quartz um, cylinder down here. There's a little quartz bar down there that needs to be replaced. And it's in pretty bad shape actually. And this one, again, I don't know what happened here. It doesn't look too bad actually, but it's not working for some reason. And that one, again, I don't know what happened here, but it's not working. In any case, I was, I was able to sa save this one, the circuit. So I'm going to be, um, you know, um, putting all the parts together. I do have here the seals, for example, rubber seals, brand new. I think these seals came from Israel, someone in Israel sent me these seals for a very good price actually. I think that gentleman is no longer in Israel, uh, he's in Canada now, so probably you will have to pay a little more. As well, I do have here the depth meter itself, so quite a few actually. It's a super tiny piece here. When you insert this depth meter into the case of the watch, you have to be careful because there's an orientation, okay? Um, this piece is actually uh, the one that needs to be in contact with this side of the plate, the circuit. The contact is established via the little tiny uh, springs here. Let me see if I can grab one. I don't want to drop anything. Those springs. If you have disassembled this watch before, probably you've seen these little springs down there popping from, from the case here, on this side of the case. Okay, next up, you will need a bunch of screws down here, uh, which are readily available from Places like eBay. I don't like eBay actually. I've had like quite a few bad, bad experiences with it. But anyway, you can source these from eBay. Um, the original ones are pretty expensive. Spring bars right here. Quite a few. More seals. I think this is an, an old seal actually. Um, seals as well cases these are pretty rusty so there was water intrusion here for sure but they are in good shape and I mean it's a matter of cleaning up the whole thing and using little WD-40 and then that should that should do actually you need to replace here the seal this is the uh, depth meter in action down here that's what it looks like and actually here you have the bottom part of the of the meter that I showed you before so the meter basically pop it in there and it's gonna come out from the other side right away and there's a rubber seal so well you gotta be careful because you can't miss it if you forget about the seal the rubber seal um, you're gonna get water intrusion so the the whole thing comes together okay those two parts actually come come together. Um, so one case here, you get another one down there. Oh, with a bezel actually. Pretty pretty beautiful, beautiful case. That's from another Aqualand model actually, and that's from what do you call that? Hyper Aqualand. Some. Crystals as well. Right on the case you find here, inserted in, in this area, you find the coil, okay? So you have to be very careful when you deal with these coils actually, because they are very, 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 very delicate. Okay, they actually, they break for no reason. Uh, usually what I'm doing, I shouldn't do, okay? You, you don't, you shouldn't actually handle these coils with a, a stainless steel you know pair of tweezers because it's 
you might damage here. But these are, these are all and they are not working. You might damage actually the circuit down there. Okay, so you have to be very careful. Uh, someone asked me about these screens, these little LCD screens. That one's pretty bad, in bad shape. It's not working, but I do have a few actually which are working. Uh, here's one. Yeah, that one's totally fine. It's working. This gentleman asked me about a um, source for, for these screens. I have no idea. Um, all you see here, I bought I bought from eBay a long time ago, like five years ago. I started collecting this sort of um, this material, actually. There's one more right here. That one needs cleaning, thorough cleaning for sure, but it's working. Uh, and so on, you have these little plates as well, silicone plates, which, you know, they, you need to insert them in between, between the circuit and the LCD screen, okay? Spare parts down there. Um, so I have two cases down here. I have three cases indeed with a bezel. Pretty good shape, beautiful case, beautiful bezel. I have four cases indeed. Uh, this is a two-tone case, golden case down here. And I have five cases actually. <clears throat> In working order. Beautiful case, look at the color down there. It hasn't faded away yet, so beautiful cases. For sure, and for sh of course we have here a few case bags as well. So let me show you. We have a C022. Pretty common that one. We have there a C022 as well. We have a C022 again. Um, there's a C020. That one's a little more like rare. And then a C022 as well. In pretty good shape with the plastic cover down here and the speaker or the beeper. I don't know what you call that. Um, more seals. <clears throat> uh, crystals as well. Original crystals, seals. Uh, that, one's, that one's an old seal for sure. Crystal. So C500 Aqualand. Um, this is the model you need little seals down there for the crown and for the stem of the crown down here. Crystals and the gasket as well. This is the plastic seal that holds, you know, the crystal actually into place. So in between the case, all right, and the crystal, there's this little gasket down here, plastic gasket. Okay, so that one's holding the crystal into place here. I have here as well an old dial for this watch. This is a duplex Aqualand. Okay, they go together down here. Yep, and that's it. So let me tell you about the second problem you might encounter. So some people complain that uh, they clean the watch, um, they de-rust some parts down here and still the analog part is not running. Okay, so let me tell you what might be the cause of that problem. If you see here, the analog part is driven by this sort of, it's, it's called a gear bridge, okay? This little bridge down here, which has the shape of a vehicle down there, all right? So this is the gear bridge down there. Um, let me zoom in. If you check the gear carefully, there's one dual down here. There's one dual down here. And then these are the gear ends down here. You can still see there one little pin popping out of the, of the hole down there. So you have th three such holes, one, two, three, plus, you know, the jewel, okay? So I do not recommend at this stage, uh, 
I do I do not recommend anyone disassembling the watch. I mean the the gear bridge down here and cleaning up the the gears one by one. It's super complicated and it's gonna be chaotic. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. All right, um, if you do that, so here is one of the plates down there. You take these you unscrew these screws down here and you're gonna end up getting the gear disassembled and it's a mess to put it back it's just a mess so i do not recommend doing that guys okay let me see if i do find here one disassembled gear i don't find any disassembled bridges for sure Okay, so what I'm going to do is just explain to you what happens in that case. Do I have it disassembled? Let me see. No, I don't, guys. I don't. Oh, here's a semi disassembled, actually, bridge down here. So it took this bridge apart okay and a long time ago i was fiddling with this thing it's not from an aqualand okay this is from a duplex aqualand i think it's exactly from that one down here so i wasn't able to put it back together all right because it's so complicated here the um the gear system inside this little bridge okay in the aqualand it's the situation is pretty much the same so do not do that because otherwise you're gonna find yourself in big, big problems. So what I would do actually is that I, uh, what I've done actually is that I, I use a little lighter fluid inside this area. And then very carefully you wait for the whole thing to evaporate. And when it's done, when it's dry, you pour here just a tiny bit of oil into these four holes, one, two, three, and four, okay? So that one's gonna help actually the gear, the train inside the, the bridge down there, okay? If that doesn't help, what you need to do actually is to unscrew these two screws down here, one and two, okay? But very, very lightly, you need just a slight unscrewing of these two screws down here. Okay, because sometimes, you know, it's not rusted, but it's tight. Okay, the the gears, little gears are tight. Okay, tightly connected to each other. So you need to de-rust the whole thing by, unscrew by unscrewing these two screws down here. You might help actually the movement. All right, so that's what I did on this particular watch down here, and it turned out cool. It's working, it's back in in business. So please subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the video and thank you so much, see you in the next one.